Welcome back to another RPG Maker Unite tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to install the Epic Game Store version of Unite, as well as what the little differences are between the asset and the Epic Game Store version. So with that said, let's get started. So the first thing we're going to do is open the Epic Game Store. Then in the search, we're going to type in RPG Maker Unite. And then this is where you would purchase it. It's already in my library, so I'm just going to click on this. And then we're just going to click on Install. After we're done installing, we can minimize the Epic Game Store and we can just click right into RPG Maker Unite. And we're gonna select the language. We're gonna agree that we've accepted the terms. And then here we're greeted with the introduction page. We can just click okay on that. And now we have our basic launcher. So what's really nice about this is this is where you can organize your projects. You don't have, that way you don't have to use any Unity Hub or anything like that if you're not familiar with Unity. And this is, can just be a really easy way to manage all of your projects. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna click on this web manual because you're gonna wanna do this pretty much no matter what, especially if you're not fully understanding of how Unity works. And then we're gonna go down here and we're gonna see that it recommends to pre-install the Unity Hub. And then it also recommends to pre-install a Unity editor. Specifically, it wants the 2021.3.16 F1, all right? So if you don't do these before, it's going to pop up with this screen right here, and it's going to tell you that you need to first install Unity Hub, second, install an editor, and then third, get the Unity ID, which basically means create a Unity account and then link it to your Unity Hub. So once you do all these three, it will walk you through until you do it. So once you install the Unity Hub, it will recognize it, and it will say that that's done. Same with the Unity Editor, and so on and so on. But the easiest way is to just do it yourself. So you'd go to, just type in Unity Hub download, And here you go. This is where you would download the Unity Hub, okay? I've already installed it, so basically all I would do is click on the Unity Hub here. And then when it opens up, this is where you're going to just link your account and stuff like this. But we're gonna do an install. And so you can see that I'm using 2021.3.33. Now this technically works with Unite right now, but it does recommend the .16F. Let me just make sure that's the version, yeah. 3.16 F1. And so if we need to find an exact version here, we can go to install editor. So if you go to the archive here, you can say download an archive. And it will take you down to the, go to the Unity 2021. Then we can go all the way down to 16 right here. And so we can see that we can download them separate or we can download them off the Unity Hub. So I'm just gonna click on this and just open the Unity Hub here. And this is all correct. You can do your Android Droid build if you want. Make sure you have these two languages selected and then you can just click install. And it will install. All right, so once that process is done, we can literally just close the hub and we can even close it if you want. It will open it automatically when you go into a project. But if we go back to our version here, you can see that we're getting no errors. That means we have everything that we need and we can literally go to create a new project in which we can then select an editor here. Now, notice that it's not updating with the editor. So I think what we need to do here is we need to close the launcher and then reopen the launcher. Then we go to create a new project. You can see that now it has refreshed. So basically it just needed a quick refresh. We could click on that version there. We can click that we want the English language. Then we can choose between two. We can do the base resources, which is just the project data only. It basically guts all the sample stuff that's included or the Unite quest. And this is gonna take a little longer to import. This will be the obviously the fastest one. And then you can just select a folder. So it could be outside your typical Unity folder. It could be in a, a separate RPG Maker Unite folder, however you wanna do it. But you would do that and then it would import it. Now, obviously I'm cutting these clips short or I'm fast forwarding them to make the load times faster, but to install the editor was a little bit of time and then to import, it's gonna still take about 25 minutes. Uh, around that time, depending on how good your machine is. So it still does take a bit. So that's how you would install it from there. The next option is, is you can add an existing project. So I've already had a project here and it's, it was just in my documents called Unite. And then if I select that, it will now add that to the list there. And then you can see that the editor version is the 33. So I still have that. But if I just double click into that, it will just start to load and I didn't have to enter the Unity Hub or anything. 
And so here we go, we're now in the editor. Now you will notice that it does look a little different than the actual editor when you open it up in Unity. And so I'll try to get a picture on here so you can see the difference, but mostly it's this top portion here is a little different, as well as the icons, there's not as many. And honestly, this is actually the only icons that you need. The other ones, there was just a few extras that were just kind of pointless because you could do them in other ways. But I do notice that there is a little bit more re responsiveness in this editor for some reason, which I don't know why because it's the same version and everything. But you can see that going to some of these menus, they just load instantly. The, the editor just feels a little smoother. And that's basically it. You can still change to the Unity editor mode, for instance, if you need to or you can change back to the focus mode, just however you want. So all of that stuff is still the same. So now when you're done editing, you can now just close the editor, save or unsave if you don't want it. The only thing to really consider is that it will leave the Unity Hub open. Matter of fact, if you close this launcher, it will also leave the Epic Game Store open. So if you didn't want those open, just make sure that you close them after you're done. But the other thing really to go over is that you can just manage all your projects from here. You can delete them. You can create new ones like I showed you earlier. But yeah, if you wanted to delete it, you just delete it. You can back up a project and all this other stuff. So basically, it's just a hub where you can just organize your RPG Maker Unite project only. And that way, you know, if you're not used to the Unity hub here and you're not really familiar with, you know, projects and all these other settings, this is actually a pretty simple way to go about it. So hopefully this video helped you out. If you have any questions, you can comment below, go to the Discord or to the forums, and we'll get you figured out. With that said, I'll see you at the next video.